G'day everyone, welcome to Two Wheel Workshop, I'm Brody, and in this video, I'm gonna build some 90 degree corner jigs. All right, so I'm halfway through building my welding table, which I'm also doing a video on, and I'll link it up here when I'm finished it. Um, but this frame isn't going to be the frame that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna chop this one up and make a new frame which is what I'm building the uh, corner jigs for. All right, so to make these jigs, I've got two pieces of 50 by 50 by three mil angle and a 50 mil by three mil piece of flat bar. I'm gonna make them 250 by 250. So the two pieces of angle are gonna butt up like this and then this corner is gonna disappear. Um, but this piece is gonna have to be 250. This piece is gonna have to be 200 plus the 50 here will make 250. And then the 50 by three mil flat bar is just gonna become the cross brace like that. So I'll mark it all out now and we'll cut it up. All right, so we'll just mock it up on the table here. Figuring out how long we need the cross brace. Between the corners, we've got 283 millimeters. All right, so what we'll do now is we'll get it all clamped down, ready to tack together. Now I cut the top of this table out so it was perfectly square, but I'm not gonna rely on that for this. We'll lay that in there. We'll get that clamped down. All right, so we'll just check this one for squareness before we go welding the other side. Oh, ever so slightly off. Don't know if you can see that there. Not to worry. All right, to fix that, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grind off these two welds and then I'll reset it and re-weld it.
much better. Alright, so I want to be able to grind these three welds off um, and flip it and weld out the other side as well. But I want to clamp it flat while I do that. Um, so these two welds are easy enough. This one not so much, but I do want to take a 45 off here. So I reckon I'll do that first and I'll have better access to grind this weld off. All right, so we've got them both fully welded out now, and I'll just check them for square. That one there is perfect. And so is that one. All right, so I'm gonna give these a coat of paint, and I'm gonna call it done. All right, so just to give you an idea of how to use this jig, um, I've got this piece of 40 mil RHS that I've taken a mitre cut out of and I want to join it at 90 degrees like this. So to make sure that it stays at 90 degrees while I weld it, we'll take the jig and place it on the inside of the work, line everything up like that, and then take our clamps. And clamp it all up like that. All right. Now you can see, because I've taken this corner off, we can get to this entire joint and weld the whole thing out while it's clamped to the jig, so you know the thing's going to stay 100% square. All right, and there we go. That's one perfectly square mitre joint. All right, so that was making 90 degree corner jigs. Um, just a nice simple one. I was almost gonna do this off camera, but I thought, you know what? It's worth making a video on, and I haven't done one in a while. Um, but they'll make it a hell of a lot easier when welding up frames and actually keeping them square. Um, I have just been doing them on the floor of my garage, which isn't level, and it's well, the results are less than ideal. So the next time you see these ones, I'm gonna be using them to weld up the frame for this welding table. 
Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you then.